Hey guys, what's up? So good to be back. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. good to be back. Shh, shh, shh. Gap it up. Uh, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. What's up? It's Mike Taylor, aka Battleship Cobra. Today I'm going to cover Kanban boards. It's a type of dashboard for the B1 usability package. They're really cool. You might not know anything about them, so I'm going to give you just a little overview. Prior to that, I just wanted to say go check out my website, battleshipcobra.com. Um, I'm going to be giving away some of these stickers that I got from SAP at some point, and I have them. Um, sign up for my newsletter, my email newsletter, newsletter.battleshipcobra.com. I will do my uh, new video announcements through there. I will respect your inbox. I'll only send useful things. And I'm just going to try to keep in touch with more people through that. Uh, more people have email than are on the notification squad in uh, YouTube or whatnot. So um, that's the easiest way to keep up with everything I'm doing. I'm going to try to put more effort into my email. Newsletter.battleshipcobra.com Okay, so for today, we are going to do the Kanban boards, which I talked a little bit about. It's a type of B1UP dashboard, and you can see it now on the screen here. What the history of this board is, it's like a Trello board. You might be familiar with something like this, where you have different notes in different columns. So it's really neat, and I'll give you a couple examples of how you can use it in SAP and uh, some of the features and show you a little bit about that. So you can see that this is a sales opportunity Kanban board, and you can see I just have a few sales uh, stages. So you can actually look at these, look at the information, and then drag them between stages. So that is really, really neat. Um, you can even switch your predicted closing date with these little hover over boxes and you can switch the predicted uh, potential amount here as well just by hovering over it. So this allows you to just quickly switch if you're doing a sales role. You can move these between these different columns. You can only show certain columns. You can only show certain sales opportunities if you want. Um, you can fully customize these, uh, this text box and it uses an HTML-like um, interface which I'll show you a little bit about in a second. First, I wanted to show you just how you can start using these if you have B1UP and you're new to it and you just want to add uh, another tab. So firstly, you want to enable it for those users. They need to have a B1UP license, but you should have that already. Administration add-ons, B1 Usability Package, B1 Usability Config you need to actually enable the specific user. So use b one dashboards. This needs to be checked. If it's not checked, don't check it and update. You have to do this outside of business hours because this will add a bunch of tables and UDFs and it will kick everybody off. So assuming you already have this on, just do this when nobody else is on the system later. Then do this, you could do this now. If this box is already checked, you're okay to do this. This ellipses button, Click it and you want to say include users, not exclude, include, and then just check the ones you want. So check, check, check. If you want to add a new user, do that. Okay, click OK. Okay, be fine. Click update. And then when that user relogs into SAP, they will have the default dashboards. Okay. So say for you, you're adding yourself. You can then go to the gear, add slash edit view settings. You can add a new one, so I'll just say here, YT example. So this add edit view settings, I wish they would call it like add or a, add a tab because it adds just a tab at the top here. You can already see I have it here, but you go to YouTube example, which would be whatever you want to call it, Kanban experiment. And this is just for your user. Gear, add new user widget. You go through here and you look for your Kanban boards, boop. Click that, actually I think you have to double click it, and then it actually adds it there. So now you can click and drag and resize this. Make sure you do this. Um, don't just maximize this. I, I see people doing this, this drives me nuts. Every time they log in, it's like small and then they maximize it. Don't do that. Um, that's good for if you have multiple widgets to overlap from those widgets. Just drag it the width drag it the height. It'll just stick like that and then you'll be okay. Then just pick whichever Kanban board. There's a few uh, default ones. So I would just pick uh, sales opportunity and it'll load in. So that's how you'll add it to yourself. If you want to impersonate another user, you can go gear, impersonate a user, 
log in as them, uh, change all their view settings and everything. And then next time they log in, you will see, they will see what you set them up with. Um, so you can click the gear, impersonate, just make sure when you're done, you click the gear and unimpersonate, and then you'll be all good. Um, if you wanna go to edit dashboard widgets, you can restrict who can see what uh, dashboards, or you can deactivate specific dashboards you don't want. So in this case, you can just say for specific users, include only, or just uncheck all these so that nobody can see any of these ones because they do have some sensitive information if you're really kind of, you know, kind of picky about that type of stuff. You know, fair enough. Okay, back to Kanban. Um, you could see cool things here. You could see the percentage bar too. So you can see where the percentage was set. If you double click, it will go into that actual SOP quickly and you can change your, your percentages and it will reflect there on the dashboard. You just have to push refresh. So you can manage most things just by dragging in the sales opportunity uh, columns, but you can also just drill down right into these. Again, you can filter it by user, you can filter however you want. Certain opportunities maybe you don't care about, you don't wanna see them, you can make more or less columns. Um, it is very, very flexible. So um, there's a lot of B1 help. I'm gonna show you here, B1 usability package, Kanban boards, there's information on just the basic stuff. Um, so we can go create the board. There's information in here, quite a bit of stuff to explain what the different things are. So you can read through here. I'll put this in the description below. You can go the ellipses box here, edit this Kanban board and see more of these options. So you can see your selection of your data with the creation of what the interior text box looks like. You can completely change the sizes of these, you could change the colors, you can indicate a lot of different things. Um, you can pick uh, to filter out, you can pick by sales employee, user link to whatever user, you have a lot of options here. Uh, these specific keywords will help you to filter. You can select your columns, so maybe you only have one column, maybe you only have a couple columns um, that you specifically work with, and then when you send them somewhere else, they just leave your Kanban board. So there's a lot of opportunity for uh, implementing kind of a workflow setup like that. And um, you could do a lot of cool things. Um, what else? You could use various colors here. It uses an H, what they call an HTML-like set of formatting. <clears throat> so you can see here it has HTML-inspired text formatting. You can look through here. I've been pretty surprised. It's, you know, it's pretty basic, but it gives you a lot of cool options and it can be conditional using case statements. Um, in your setup here. So you can use case statements. You can see I have certain different things with the different colors. And you can then use all these different colors in here, which is neat. So they have um, support for all these various things. Boop. There are lots of other options at the bottom here. Card size, different uh, column moves and different things. You can have a custom UDF that you use to track the different column types. So you could have a sales order and then have a custom in-house status that you want to use. Maybe it's a work, some sort of workflow supporting mechanism and you can have it so that when you move between the different columns, it will switch that specific UDF. So that gives you the ability to do a lot more things. And um, yeah, there's quite a bit, you know, quite a few different things. So you could support that with uh, universal function um, on the navigation. So you can really support almost any object. Okay, I'm gonna close that. Um, I'll just show you a couple other examples. So edit, uh, oops, select a different Kanban board. We're gonna go to production orders. So production orders out of the box. Um, I didn't do too much customization in here, but you can move them from planned to released. You can move them from planned to released in a particular, maybe you have different, pro different production lines. You can have different locations. So you can filter for those things. You can move them between these things. You can't move them to like closed and then back to released. It doesn't allow you to work around SAP's um, specific limitations of the DIBI, but it'll allow you to do these. And it's really quick if you wanna visually uh, move things between the different statuses. So that's nice. Select a different one. We have projects. Projects is neat. I made this one a little bit wider. You can, again, move them between the different things. Um, you, I actually, you know what I forgot to show you was the filters back to sales opportunities filter so you can filter by a keyword boom so you can search between there with the filters 
Um, and then the last one that's kind of natively supported with a, a little bit higher level is the uh, service calls. So again, this is extremely simple. I only have a few different statuses, but you could have more than one status, you know, with a technician, back from the technician, you know, on hold, etc. Or you can filter out on hold calls, you could drill down into them. So you could kind of make this a little, you know, if you're already using SAP for your service calls, you can make this a visual way of tracking them. So whether this is the order desk of things coming up, whether it's a way of kind of McDonald systemizing your uh, warehouse. Maybe you wanna just have open sales orders that are meant to be delivered. You can use that. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with your Kanban boards. Last but not least, they have really good um, setup videos. So there's introduction and there's some other customizations of the Kanban board stuff. So you can listen to uh, our friend Rasmus do his uh, setup and explain to you how to use the Kanban boards and how to customize them in much more detail. So I will link all of those in the description below. Thank you guys very much for checking out my video. Newsletter.battleshipcobra.com and battleshipcobra.com for all other information about me. Um, I will be sending out email notifications when I do new videos. So you don't have to kind of periodically come back to YouTube if you sign up for my newsletter. I will also be giving away March 1st, 2023. I'm going to pick four new people who are on my newsletter list and I'm gonna mail these wherever you are in the world. If you want me to sign them or kiss them or something, I don't know, whatever. Um, I'll do whatever you want. And uh, so sign up, newsletter to battershipcover.com. Thank you very much, love you all, peace. Make some progress, I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me, maybe